Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. with this lovely deck, the Connolly Tarot. By the way, did you um, subscribe? I wasn't sure if you uh, realized that that's something that you need to do. Very colorful, very energetic cards with a gentle spirit. So I thought they might be appropriate for this reading because I'm going to talk about Benny Thompson, who is the chairman of the House Committee on um, Homeland Security. So let's get right to it. Well, before we do, what's happening is He's actually suing Rudy Giuliani for uh, the incitement, uh, his part in the incitement of that mob on the Capitol. Uh, not only Giuliani, he's suing uh, Trump and uh, the Proud Boys, but this is concerning his um, his suing of Rudy Giuliani and see uh, what that means uh, in this interpretation of the tarot. I'm going to cut these cards a couple of times and then uh, we'll do another little shuffle. This will be a typical Celtic cross and um, it'll be a quick read. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I don't know anything at all about Benny Thompson other than he's from, uh, he represents Mississippi if I'm not mistaken. And um, there is something interesting I can tell you about Mississippi. So let me put the laptop back up and show you what it is. Now do you know how to spell Mississippi backwards? I'm going to show you. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S Did you get that? Okay, back to the cards. Uh, shuffle. I always like to make sure that you guys see the cards being mixed up on the camera and that they're not um, bothered by any edits or any uh, music. I just want you to know what the cards uh, have said. This is a mess, I, uh, but I'm going to leave it just like that and take six cards out of this. And I'm, you know, this is telling me that this is where the meat is. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to say one. Okay, if you want to come out, one, two, three, four. Let's go over here though. Yeah, five, and one off the end, six. Put those off the frame. I'm going to jump right into it. Benny Thompson suing Rudy Giuliani. Tell us about that. So the signifier card for Benny right now is the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands talks about really uh, usually having kind of been in a difficult uh, battle, but this Nine of Wands has sort of wrapped up his wands. He's 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 mastered them. He's got them tied up into bundles. He's carrying one uh, for good measure, I would say. And uh, so he seems to have all of his ducks in a row and sorted and uh, knows what he wants to uh, deal with with those. But they're, steps, they're off to the side. It looks like he's going to start with this one. The challenge to Benny Thompson is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles uh, is talk about bringing forward a big dose of value okay and this angel is pushing that uh, pinnacle out there and uh, over a lovely lush garden in a bright uh, background which is encouraging uh, light into the situation so Benny Thompson with all of his uh, wands uh, lined up is challenged by the Ace of Pentacles, and I wouldn't say that's a challenge at all. I'd say that's almost a uh, help to him in this regard. The base of that reading for Benny is the Emperor. And the Emperor is someone who is definitely in charge and knows what they're doing. And uh, there's someone that the others are going to follow. And um, and he comes with quite a bit of authority, as certainly Benny would in this uh, situation. The recent past is the Six of Wands. And the six, or the sorry, the six of swords. The six of swords is a very predictive card, but in this case, what's happening is the swords are are part and par part part uh, parcel of this uh, bridge that this uh, person is going over, and uh, with some speed, 
And so they're, these six of wands are providing a safe passage for, for this person, I would say. And this, so they've got the the uh, six of swords. I, I'm sorry, I mean, I mean to say six of swords uh, on their side. So the um, sky for Benny Thompson is the two of wands. And the two of wands speaks to uh, making plans for the future. You know, this uh, fella is is surveying uh, the globe. He's got uh, the two of wands here, again, bundled up and ready to make a decision. He's got his wand uh, ready, and he's uh, surveying, making a decision about what's going to happen uh, in this future. So that's the two of wands. And in the outcome, the likely outcome, is the, in the six or the four of swords. And what the Four of Swords talks about is to take a break, hang on for a minute. He's got a gate that he needs to go through, and then he can collect up these swords and, uh, and decide what's going to happen next. But he's taking his time to consider his actions. And here are the swords all ready to be used up. The actual right now self of Benny Thompson is represented by the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands are celebrations. And you can see these folks are, are making a cheer. They're enjoying the, the fruit of their labor in this uh, small uh, celebration of just the two of them. So that's uh, Benny right there in his self. But he's in the environment of the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles talks about, these are the pentacles all up here etched into the building, into this archway. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles generally speaks to the um, prosperity that a person has accumulated or that a, a body has accumulated. So he's got the uh, Four of Wands celebrations in the environment of a very secure Ten of Pentacles. The hopes and the fears, however, are the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups talks about typically having to leave some cups behind. And you can see it's a troubled sky here. This fellow is, is holding on to his cup. He's almost praying to or for some sort of an outcome with this uh, castle, this uh, structure, this, this building in the background. So the Eight of Cups is the hopes and the fears. And so I'm going to say that he's hoping for... Uh, you know, knowing that he's had to leave some of these cups behind, which may be actually other accusations, but really looks like he's praying to me for the best outcome for the one cup that he's taking forward at this moment. And then the final outcome for Benny in this regard is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a great big offer of promise. You know, cups are emotion and passion, and this is a very impassioned sky. We've got this angel who's just waiting for that dove to find the, the um, security of, of landing next to him. And that's the final outcome for Benny Thompson in this regard. So that's my pull for Benny. It looks like he's got his plans for what he's going to do to Rudy. And uh, it looks like he's going to be pretty successful in all of that. Well, anyway, my subscribe. Just do it. it, it it'll be fine. Just click the button. This is my journey through tarot. And I'm so glad that you stopped by. I really appreciate that you took the time to spend some of your time here. I hope this resonated with you. Or maybe you have a different take on these cards. And it's completely valid. So whatever your intuition is telling you, you should go with. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now.